One of the main reasons that I see people unable to travel is because of the cost. It's not uncommon to see people traveling to places like Singapore or Dubai spending thousands of dollars in as little as a day. Which to the average person wanting to get into traveling is simply not realistic. Follow me as we delve into some places that won't break the bank but will still leave you with memories you won't soon forget. Starting off our list at number 5 is Niagara Falls. As long as you avoid the nearby casinos, Niagara Falls can be a truly great travel destination for anyone wanting to see breathtaking sights without breaking the bank. The main attraction of this location isn't too hard to decipher. After all, it's in the name. The Niagara Falls are a breathtaking sight to behold and one of the best ways to see it without spending too much is a maid of the mist boat. These boats have been around since the 1840s and is still around to this day. This is the best way to see the falls up close as you will be practically dunked in the falls, but not to worry as rain gear is provided. Another great sight in the area is the Niagara Falls State Park. Not only is it free to visit, but it is stunning and helps you to get a better grasp of the beauty of the areas outside the main falls. If you're willing to spend $3, you can get access to a scenic trolley guide which will help you fast track your exploration. However, the absolute best part is a place inside called the Observation Deck, which you are mere feet from the falls and have a perfect view of it in all its glory. Another option when you visit the falls is the White Water Walk. After you take an elevator 230 feet to the base of the gorge, you will then have access to a quarter mile boardwalk that overlooks the Great Gorge Rapids. This is one of the best places to capture scenic photos. Doing all this will only cost you about $55 and will certainly not break the bank for such a scenic exploration of one of the most breathtaking falls in the entire world. Next on our list at number 4 is Vancouver, Canada. Vancouver is an extremely young city compared to most of the great travel destinations in the world currently. But what it gives up and age it most definitely makes up for it in beauty. Vancouver's main attractions are parks like Stanley Park and museums like the Museum of Anthropology at UBC. The former is a breathtaking park with an incredible amount of sightseeing to offer. With a nearly 20-mile seawall just off the Vancouver waterfront, or over 17 miles of forest trails to walk through it is not short of things to view. However, if all that walking doesn't sound like your style, you could always take a horse-drawn carriage or hop on the train for roughly a 15-minute ride through the forest. The latter of the two options is a museum of Native American artifacts galore. Other areas of the museum sport 15th century European pottery, jewelry, and art. You can walk through the museum unguided, or you can follow one of the docents who are doing walkthroughs three times a day. A cafe and a shop are also located nearby. Another great place to visit while in Vancouver is Kitsilano Beach. It has often been compared to Venice Beach in LA, the northern shore sports the most popular swim spot. There also happens to be a heater saltwater Kitsilano pool open from May to September. There is also dog parks and off-leash areas for your pet if you happen to bring them. Another location is the Vancouver Maritime Museum, not too far away. All of this will only cost you roughly $50 not accounting for food and lodging. Overall for the price, this is an absolute must-visit location and it's something you will never regret seeing. Following that up at number 3, we have San Diego. San Diego has a host of activities to do when you visit including but not limited to a zoo, baseball, and of course the stunning beaches. Starting off with a San Diego Zoo Safari where you can view lions, elephants, cheetahs, meerkats, and much more. The staff have been described as friendly and knowledgeable and the environment has been described as feeling almost like an African safari. The park is open from 9 to 5, however some days may have extended hours until 7 or 8 p.m. Another thing to do inside of San Diego is a visit to Coronado Beach. Just across the bay from San Diego, this beach sports a long shoreline and a peaceful atmosphere compared to similar sized beaches. While there is not bustling boardwalk, 
There is plenty of scenic views, and if you don't mind a rugly to mile walk you will be able to visit the Hotel Del Cronado, which offers the opportunity to ISSK. 8. Right alongside the beach. It is recommended to visit near sunset if you are trying to see the most stunning views. Yet another thing to do while in San Diego is to attend a Padres game at Paco Park. The park built in 2000 for offers tours as well as games which will show you the ins and outs of this great stadium. The tours last roughly 80 minutes and won't break the bank. However, tickets to a game only cost roughly $60 on average and less desirable seats can be bought for much cheaper if that is your desire. Overall, the park is a great destination that you should consider if you visit San Diego. All of these places together cost roughly $100 see, and certainly are worth every penny if you would like to experience all that San Diego has to offer. Our runner-up on our list at number 2 is the Grand Canyon National Park. The Grand Canyon is a massive chasm located in northern Arizona, measuring in at 18 miles wide and nearly a mile deep. One of the best places to visit in the Grand Canyon is the Grand Canyon Village. Near the most popular in Trachi, the south rim of the village is separated into three districts. The market, the visitor center, and the historic district. The oldest being the historic district, and as such it's home to several buildings used for dining and lodging like Verkham's Visitor Center or the Bright Angel Lodge. Another great place to visit here is the Canyon Railway Depot, a log cabin-style working depot that welcomes passengers of the railway to the village. Nearby is the Hopi House, a 1905 building that houses authentic Native American souvenirs. Yet another great location to visit is the Matter Point, just mere steps from the visitor center it should be one of the first places you see as you enter the canyon. It is home to a fenced overlook of the stunning cliffs and trails below. Stunning views are not hard to come by in this part of the canyon as many have praised how breathtaking the views are in this part of the canyon. A trail that leads to the Colorado River. The Bright Angel Trail offers a spectacular view of the inner canyon and is one of the most popular hiking spots in the canyon. However, if you're going to visit this trail, you may need to prepare for some heavy walking as it is an approximately 12-mile round trip back to the start. However, there are many rest spots and places you can turn around at if it becomes too much. Overall, a Grand Canyon visit will run you roughly $50 bucks if you need a vehicle pass, which is recommended for ease of access. Not too bad considering the absolutely breathtaking views which will be on display. And our number one place on this list goes to Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone is a stunning national park located in Montana and Wyoming. It is over to point to million acres of land filled with stunning views and scenic destinations which you have to see to believe. The Grand Canyon of Yellowstone is a must-see when you visit the park. Formed over thousands of years of erosion, it stretches nearly 20 miles and is nearly 4,000 feet wide at its widest point. It is also 1,200 feet deep and features multiple falls that cascade down the river of Yellowstone. The Yellowstone River is more than 600 miles long, making it the longest undammed river in the continental U.S. Another must-see attraction of Yellowstone is, of course, Old Faithful, a world-renowned geyser with awe-inspiring eruptions reaching heights of nearly 180 feet frequently. The eruptions last anywhere from 1 to 5 minutes and release nearly 6,000 gallons of water on average. This is an absolute must-see if you happen to visit Yellowstone. Last but certainly not least is the Grand Prismatic Spring, a hot spring that looks like it shouldn't even exist when you see it for the first time. Measuring in at around 370 feet in size and 121 feet deep, it possesses stunning rainbow waters that will leave you in awe of its sheer beauty. These colors are cased by thermophilic bacteria that thrive on the minerals in the water around the spring. If you are wanting to take a photo of this wonder, we suggest you to visit the Overlook Trail, which offers a great view for photo capturing. Overall, the Yellowstone National Park visit should run you roughly $40 for 7 days of access with one vehicle pass included. 
This is an absolutely must-visit location for the price in which it costs. Well, this just about does it for our list of the five best places to visit on a budget of 2024. These places all will allow you to enjoy traveling without the worry of spending far too much money on the visit. If you plan to visit one of these places, please let us know in the comment section down below. As always, thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.